Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is Teaching Smartphone Programming Using Android Java, Ancology and Innovation. Let's see the overview of our project. Mobile devices are becoming an indispensable tool for many students and educators. And students and scientists are becoming more interested in learning how to develop their own application on mobile platform. This paper presents an innovation in teaching and learning in principle of Android-based Java programming. It helps how to create an application in shorter than traditional time. Technical developers in this work minimize unnecessary information carried into current teaching approaches with handout practices. The motivation of this work is to create a tailored programming introductory course to teach Java programming on Android by incorrupting selected efficient methods from extant libraries, extant literature. The proposed mechanism is to keep students motivated by an active approach based on student-centered learning with collaborative work. A prototype curriculum is a main diversity to this work that is suitable for programmers such as engineers, freshers and students. In existing, we point out the standard is student in tutorial course are less lengthy and dislike introducing CS material as exam and problems according to the field of target student. The motivation of a paper is to create a tailored programming introduction course to teach Java programming on Android. In our proposed model, the motto of our purpose is to introduce a programming in Android Java which develop application on Android. This platform includes one layer of learning and teaching in new technology. It is desirable to introduce the from the beginning of student. The efficient method from the literature about the Java programming and learning is a general and investigate to the work. Let's see the flowchart of our project. This is our flowchart diagram. Here, when the user first starts the program, the user is entering the text. Here, the text market entered. Suppose I'm giving us hello, is it working? It will get a uh, how it, it will examine how it works. That is, it will get the text and show. And when I click on this button, when the text is when we enter the text, the text will get uh, displayed here. When the text will not be displayed, it will uh, go back to the user and get the information. This is about the flowchart of the demo of our. Our first model. This is our first form. The first we have a teaching text trace. Here it shows how uh, if we are giving some text, it will be, uh, we can view the text view. Suppose here I am giving the text as welcome. When I click on this particular button, it displays as text. Here we will it will be show. Uh, here we have a teach text trace button. When I click on this button, here I will get the code. How it can how the text market generated will get be displayed. Next we have RBT. That is when I click on this RBT button here uh, here I have remember understand apply analyze evaluate and create. When I click on this remember here I have recognizer and recalling. Back the remember where uh, include recognizer and recalling. This is the beginning of the learning. It is essential part of learning new material especially where there is no familiarity with the concept like programming. That is where the recognizer is used to re recognize whether the particular part and I say about and recall about the particular part. When I go with uh, the understanding categories, the understand is described constructing meaning for instruction ma message including oral, written and graphical communication. As it is given, this category include interpreting, e examining, classifying, summarizing, inferring, com comparing, explaining. That is interpreting is means uh, we are uh, going to examine a subject we are going to teach and the exam playing is we are going to uh, teach with the some example and the classifying is that about the con the given concept we are going to classify it and uh, with the classic with the classified part we are going to summarize it and we are going to compare uh, compare with those and we are explaining this is this is about and understanding uh, categories and when next we have when analyze apply Executing and implementing are the two subcategories of apply which requires application of a procedure in a different context. It is necessary to remember and understand the given material before applying. We have executing and implement implementing and next we have an analyze. 
Analyze includes subcategories or differentiating, organizing, and attributing. Analyze requires the ability to relate the constant part of a material. Ability to distinguish a part of the code with a critical eye will give a power of debugging. The logic of the code more syntax gives a more syntax error. Well, different, this is we have differentiating, organizing, and attributing. Next, we have an evaluate. Evaluate is defined as judgment by standard, that is, including critical and checking. Here, we have checking and critic critiquing. That is, we are, after we are completing our uh, our task, we have to check the particular task and we have to criticize it. And then, uh, uh, at the last part, we are going to create. Create includes everything to form a whole. In a programming, it includes producing and desired output by once own way by solving the problem however during the course of a class that can be limited to given material by instructor the create is generating planning and producing we are um, with this uh, concept we are going to clear generate a particular task and this is about this um, this module and uh, here uh, next i have a knowledge it can be relevant to a student to ask a question to fill the feedback that is when i click on this next button here i will get a question do you know about the string library if you know yes we have to click uh, the no we need to click no here i am giving the x and i am going to next that is we are getting a question going to give an answer that is either an yes or no that I, whether i know the particular uh, answer or not here i got a co next question is can you write the step and create a new project if suppose i don't know about uh, i don't know to create Create a step for creating a new project. I can give and no. Or uh, if I know uh, if someone help, I can do means I can give this button. And when I click on this next, I got a text as Can you write a step of creation of a process? Yes, I know. So I'm clicking the button as yes. And next, I'm going to generate. Next, we have Can you supervise your friend to create a new project? If you are uh, well understand that I can give yes or no, or else you can no. And the next, I'm I'm clicking on the next button. Can you trace a code to find the logic is correct? Yes. Then can you substring function to delete a part of a string? Did someone help? Can you think about other way for writing a given code? This is about the teaching process. That's about the text we are giving. Can you find the function from a string library to use? No. If I know if you know the answer for this question, I can give the option as yes. If I don't, if I can't understand the answer for this question, I can give the value as no. If I do with someone's help, I can give the option as with someone help. And then I'm generating. Can you write a new code to demonstrate example? Uh, I can give us x. Can you demonstrate string function? I uh, with someone help only I can do. And uh, here uh, the overall uh, rating has got. That is, I have got a three stars. That is, you are uh, at last. Mm, we found the uh, at last. Uh, the test has it completed, and I find the rating as three. This is about our project. Thank you.